Hi guys, welcome to Selenium Automation Testing. So today in this video, we are going to learn about how to read properties file. Okay, how to get data, how to get value from the properties file. Because when we automating the web pages, we got URL, we got some data in the form of the properties file. And from the properties file, we need to get this data and use in our script. So let's start with the practical. So I will create first of all one properties file. Okay. So just right click on the package and click on the new and then files. So we write the web page dot properties. This is the compulsory extensions dot properties web page dot properties or better to use data data dot properties so it will create one properties file so this is the properties file properties file working based on the key and value pair so first of all we are going to in this video we are going to launch the URL for the Google and then enter some value inside this search box so we store our url here inside the property file so we use key url is equal to https www.google.com mostly in my previous video what we do we paste our url over here okay this is the hard code so in this video we are going to store our url inside the properties file and then we get the url from the properties file and then we search something so we use keyword is equal to we use rd we are going to search rd okay so let me save this file data.properties okay so this is the property file we got from the our team members when we actually doing some automation testing okay and by using this value we launch the url and we search this keyword so it's time to read data from the properties file so i will create one class okay test01 with main method so this is the main method okay so first thing is we are going to read some value from file okay this is the one type of file properties is a file this is the file okay so first thing is we need to take file we need to provide the location of this file okay so we use file okay we are creating an object of file class so this is the class from java.io package so we use file file is equal to new file and then we provide the location of our file so the location is how to get location of file so just right click on this file and click on the properties so it will provide the location of file and just click on this icon it will copy <coughs> sorry just copy this location okay copy and apply and close and just provide inside the double quote because it will take the string value and just paste so it means you are going to read data from this file okay so now we have file so when we read some data from any file we need to use file input stream for reading we use input and for writing We use output okay I will show you 
so here we use file input string because we are going to read some data from the file so for reading we use input so we use file input stream this one file input stream fis is equal to new file input stream means we are going to read some data from file which file this is this is the file okay and i will provide the reference variable over here because this is the file where we are going to read our data it will throw some checked exception let me throw okay file not found exception maybe at run time file will be not there so this is the predefined this is the preconditions means we get some <coughs> idea means there are possible that we got this error file not found exception if the file is not present at the given location okay so first task is get the file by using this and then provide the location of file now we are going to read the data from the file so we use file input stream and this is the file okay now this is the which file properties file so this is there is one class in a selenium properties so we use properties okay yeah sorry properties is a class from the util package okay so we use properties prop is equal to new properties and then we provide this reference variable fis here again it will throw some checked exception okay or let me check properties prop is equal to new properties okay okay mm -hmm. remove argument match properties okay 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 so we use properties prop is equal to new properties and then we combine this properties and this file using load method so we use prop dot load method is there okay just a minute properties okay prop dot load method is there so we are going to merge our both different different reference variable so we use prop just a minute let me close this one dot load method is there okay and it will take file input sorry input stream reference variable so we use load and the reference variable of file input stream is fis it will throw some exceptions okay so this four line of code is there first thing is we need to get our file we need to take the location of your file so we use file class then we are going to read some data and for the reading purpose we use input so we use file input stream and then we provide this file over here okay and this is the properties file so we use properties class so we use properties prop is equal to new properties and then there is no connection between fis and prop but by using this method we merged it prop dot load and then fis okay now it's time to read some value from the properties file as i said inside the properties this url is considered as a key and this is the value of this url key again this is the keyword key and this is the value of keyword key audi so we use prop dot get method is there get property get property of which key we want get property of url 
okay and it will store it will return inside the string so we use string url is equal to property dot get property means we get the url from this properties file then it's time to get our keyword so we use prop dot get properties get properties of what keyword this one keyword get property of this key so it will go inside this file and search this keyword as a key keyword is a key and then return its value audi it will again return in the string so i will store inside this string string keyword is equal to prop dot get properties now we have url and keyword so i will print on console url is and then url and then i will print our keyword keyword is and then keyword okay let me print this value first of all and then we are going to launch our browser control shift f and control save so it will read data from the properties file and print on the console so this one url is this https google.com and keyword is audi okay so now it's time to launch the browser so let me copy this code because this code is as it is for each and every time control and copy and i will paste here as of now what we do we get we enter the location of our web page means url over here so this is not a good approach this is a static value okay so better to store inside the properties file and take as per the condition as per the requirement so we have url here just copy and paste so it will launch the url then we need to enter keyword inside this search box so we are going to find the web element so we use web element element is equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath okay then we use element dot send keys and then our keyword so we use keyword control shift f control save let me launch google mm -hmm. i will launch google and then inspect our search box so this is the search box okay now let me inspect this one just right click on the search box and click on the inspect so i will create the xpath quickly and then load our script run our script okay so our search box contains some id or not no there is no id okay the name is q i think this is the unique value so just press ctrl f our text box comes inside the input text so i will write input then i will use name is equal to q and name is attribute so i will write at the rate name is equal to q one of one okay just copy this x path and paste over here control shift f control c so after finding the search box we are going to send some keyword which we store inside the properties file this audi and then 
we click on the search button so we use element dot send keys and then we use keys sorry mm -hmm. okay this one keys dot enter control shift f and control save so this is the code simple code but we get url from properties file okay we take our keyword from properties file okay so control shift f and control c i will run and then after launching the url i will close so i will write driver dot quit method control shift f and control save when you perform when you doing automation in a real time so you got each and every value in the form of the txt file or a properties file and you need to get the you need to read the value from properties or txt file okay so this is the example of how to read how to get value from the properties file okay because most of the time you got url some information in the form of the properties file and then you need to take from the properties file and use inside the script so as you can see on the screen we got our google from the properties file and we entered audi and then it will close our browser okay we have successfully done so this is our value now i will show you with one more so if i will change from audi to bmw just save and run so this time see our new keyword now keyword is bmw okay now it will again launch our google and enter bmw here because we changed our url from audi to bmw okay google launched properly bmw properly and it entered bmw also then it will close the browser okay good so this is our value so this is the example of how to read how to get value from the properties file okay sometimes you got your id and password in the form of the properties file id is some xyz and password is some xyz you need to take this id and password from the properties file so how to take so this is the code first of all we need to set the location of our file so we use file class and then provide the location of our file after taking the file we are going to read some value we are going to take data for and for the reading for the taking purpose we use input so we use file input stream fi is equal to new file input stream and then we pass the reference variable of file to this file input stream okay now we have file and we are ready to read the data so two task is completed now this is the properties file so we use properties prop is equal to new properties okay but we need to create the connectivity between this fis and this prop okay here we have connected fis is here so this both line is connected now it's time to connect our third line so we use prop dot load method is there so we connect we merged our prop dot load with fis fis okay after writing this four line of code we are good to go to get the properties so one method is there prop dot get property means we are taking the property of this keyword it will search the location of this file first of all then it will going to it will go inside this properties file 
एंड सर्च दिस की वर्ड सॉरी सर्च दिस की यू आर एल एज अ की एंड देन इट विल रिटर्न इट्स वैल्यू एंड वैल्यू इज दिस वन गूगल डॉट कॉम अगेन इट विल गो इन साइड अवर फाइल एंड देन इट विल सर्च दिस की ओके की वर्ड इज अ की एंड इट विल रिटर्न इट्स वैल्यू विच इज बी एम डब्ल्यू ओके सो आई होप गाइज यू गेट सम आइडिया फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो हाउ टू रीड डेटा फ्रॉम द प्रॉपर्टीज फाइल देन प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो गाइज थैंक यू